Android Q's latest beta debuts a whole new system for navigation gestures. Here's how to use them. If you haven't already seen Android Q's new gestures, they actually work a lot like Apple's on the iPhone X. Like on iOS, the core gesture here is a swipe up from the bottom of the screen to go to the home screen. Swiping up and pausing also accesses the recent apps menu. Buttons are totally gone with this new UI, and that means there's no back button. Instead, a swipe from either side of the display brings you back in the interface, just like the button used to. To avoid conflicts with hamburger menus, you can also swipe down at an angle to access the menu instead of going back. A quick tip for these gestures is how to access Google Assistant. Since there's no home button, accessing the Assistant is a little different. Instead, you'll swipe at a 45 degree angle from either corner of the display. Finally, there's quick multitask. To do this, simply swipe your finger along the bottom of the display to swipe back and forth between applications. Fully gestural navigation in Android Q is still in its early stages, so it'll probably evolve more as time goes on before the final release. For more of our Android Q coverage, head over to 95 googlecom